layups tonight that you just don't see him miss. Brad Williams again! Seven. Of the opportunity so far in these playoffs. Do you view this season as a failure? <sighs> oh my god. Uh, okay, because I'm not that up. Uh, Jay, blockbuster deal that lands the Milwaukee Bucks and Giannis Attentacupo, all NBA guard Damian Lillard, three team trade. Hey, 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 hold on. What brought this side to me? Oh, oh, wait, what, what did you just say? Hey, it sounded like he said that Damian Lillard was going to... Hey, bro, chill out with all that, bro. I done had enough of hearing you speak, bro. I'm tired of you, bro. You over here asking me all these stupid questions and stuff. I need somebody real to tell me, hey, hey is this fake news, bro? What did, what did dude just say? Like I was saying, he said... Bro, am I going to have to get down off this seat and come punch you in your face? Because I'm really tired of you, bro. You got to stop talking, bro. For real, for real, bro. I'm tired of this, bro. Hey, I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? My boy Giannis, I got you, bro. I ain't going to lie. They just said that we getting damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we getting damn, dollar damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn time, oh, baby. Oh, shoot, for real? Dang. Oh, I ain't even mad no more. I'm ready to go win the championship. Hey, reporter, my bad, bro. You have a good day. Hey, hey. Thanks, Giannis. You have a good day as... All right, bro, I'll take it back, bro. You getting on my nerves again, bro. You don't have no good day, bro. Have a bad day, bro. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Bounty Back. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all having a great day. A great night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. Man, let's hope everything going good for y'all. Now, let the day ain't gonna lie. We got big news. It's a beautiful day if you a Bucks fan. You know what I'm saying? We just got Damian Lillard on the squad. You feel me? I, I really have had no idea this was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like... Maybe I just haven't been keeping up with the trade talks like I should, but I really like, just thought Dame was going to Miami. Like, if he won't go to Miami, I thought he won't go nowhere. So I ain't think we had no chance at getting him. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I I'm not going to even speak too much on this because, you know what I'm saying? Speaking about this is honestly obvious. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers already know Dame coming to Milwaukee. That's just putting us in that number one spot as far as who's probably going to win the championship next year. Because, you know what I'm saying? We was already up there. Like, I had us at the number one spot anyway. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe another motherfucker might have had us at like three or four or five. Five is disrespectful as foot. Really, four is two. We ought to be top three up in that conversation. But you know what I'm saying? If you want, if you ain't want to put us in that top three conversation, I right, at least top four, top five. But right now, bro, I don't see how we not at one right now. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna briefly speak on what this means for not only the NBA but also for the Bucks itself. No cap. This right here is just you know what I'm saying a month of Dame stats. You know what I'm saying? This is just a random month right here. I think it was like what February? Yeah, this is the month of February last season. Look, bro, you know what I'm saying? My boy Dame dropped 42, 11 to 22 shooting. Next game, 29, 9 to 20. Next game, you got 40, 12 to 21 shooting. Y'all just look through the list, bro. You know what I'm saying? Look at them points, bro. 42, 29, 40, 28, 33, 38, 40, 39, 26, 71, 25, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just the type of month flipper Dame is. He just go out there and he get buckets all the time, bro. And if you pair this man up with somebody like Giannis who just go out there and get buckets, yeah, he go get buckets in a different type of way. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he go get the buckets the same way that Dame get the buckets, but he still go out there and get straight buckets. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? That boy Giannis, he get out there, you know what I'm saying, post up, dunk on a mud flipper, dunk on two mud flippers, dunk on three mud flippers, you know what I'm saying? He might get the mid-range game going a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Giannis a lot to get you 35 on any night. 35, 35 is nothing to Giannis. 35, 20 boards. Seven assists, that's nothing. 68% shooting. Then you got Dame coming along with him, even if Dame is having an off day. Let's say Dame, sh shoot, let's say Dame 40% from the floor. You know what I'm saying? 30% from three. He'll still put 30 on that board and still impact the game like crazy. Space that floor for Giannis. You know what I'm saying? Give, give people... You know what I'm saying? Another mud flipper to goddamn focus on. Because if you watch Giannis' highlights, if you watch the Bucks, the way people play the Bucks, they just focus all their attention on Giannis. It's like nobody else is even on the floor. Everybody is just completely focused on Giannis. You can't do that if you got Dollar Dame on the team, too. You're not going to be able to just completely focus on Giannis. You got to show Dame some respect. Really, you need to be going and double teaming Dame. Dame, he, he require a double team. If you just going to let Dame go in single coverage, oh, he cooking you most definitely. And then if you don't got the whole team goddamn trying to, you know what I'm saying, deal with this man right here, then he just going to go crazy. So realistically, it's nothing that Muff Flippers can do. You know what I'm saying? The Bucks, 
we we looking crazy right now. You know what I'm saying? And look, I understand that we lost some defense in this trade. You know what I'm saying? I, I get it. Dame isn't the, you know what I'm saying, greatest defensive player of all time and everything like that. But look, what my flip is going to understand is, you know what I'm saying? People be goddamn, you know what I'm saying, hopping in the comment section talking about, yeah, bro, you know what I'm saying? Uh, You know, they, they don't have enough defense now. Uh, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying, goddamn poop on y'all's opinions or nothing. You know what I'm saying? For sure, bro. If that's how you feel, for sure. But I just feel like motherfuckers be missing the key ingredient of what be happening. Lying behind all of this. Yeah, maybe we got a little bit worse on defense. I, and you know what I'm saying? We gonna get we gonna get to that too. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get to how we got worse on defense. But yeah, maybe we got a little bit worse on defense. Not significantly worse, but a little bit worse. But what motherfuckers gotta understand, we just got Damian Lillard, bro. We just got a more flipping MVP candidate type player on our team. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't, don't worry so much about the small, minute details so much, bro. Just worry about what you know for a fact. You know what I'm saying? We just got Damian Lillard. You know what I'm saying? A straight baller, a straight certified automatic bucket. You know what I'm saying? A mother flipper that can go get you 70 points. A mother flipper that can go goddamn put up 58 points in, in double overtime and score about like 25 straight points in overtime and double overtime fighting to try to keep his team alive. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of mother flipper that we just got. You know what I'm saying? That's just a fact. You know what I'm saying? So don't gloss over that. Don't think too hard about this addition to the team. We just got Damian Lillard. And, and just listen to our starting five real quick, okay, y'all? Just listen to this. Damian Lillard, Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Bobby Portis, and Brooke Lopez. Now, I mean, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I get it, bro. Damian Lillard, not the greatest defensive player of all time. Not to say that he just trashed on defense, but yeah, he's not the greatest defensive player. But did you hear the rest of that lineup? That's straight dogs on defense, bro. Like, we real life shouldn't even be worried about defense for real, for real. He ain't lying. Now look, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, God dang, with all the good that's happened from this trade, you feel me? Uh, there's always two sides to the story, and you know, it could be it could be like the greatest positive of all time. But you know what I'm saying? You can't always have everything. What what, what my boy Giannis say? What my boy Giannis say? No, I cannot have everything in life. I cannot have everything. I cannot be handsome, beautiful kids, beautiful wife, great family, great teammate, great coaching staff, handsome. Athletic. I cannot have everything in life. I cannot make threes too. God had to keep me humble. God said basically, cannot make threes. Can't shoot. Stay humble, my God. <laughs> Dominated the paint, rebounds, dugging on people, euro stepping. I had to stay humble somehow. He ain't lying. Man, you can't always have everything. You know what I'm saying? It's trade offs in life. And unfortunately, bro, it hurts my heart to see this. As Bucks fans, you know what I'm saying? We most definitely love Drew Holiday. You know what I'm saying? He really brought that intensity to the team. You know what I'm saying? God dang, bro, maybe the best defender in the league. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even put it past him. You know what I'm saying? As far as perimeter defenders, you don't get no better than this right here. Brooke Lopez, straight dog, straight baller. Wherever he go. Hey, bro, I appreciate the comment, but um, you know what I'm saying? My name, my name, Drew Holiday. It's not, it's not Brooke Lopez, really bro. Like that. But you know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, bro. Like I said, bro, you just can't have everything. Unfortunately, we couldn't goddamn keep Brooke Lopez. I mean, not Brooke Lopez. Freaking Drew Holiday and still get Damian Lillard. And you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, you got to deal with trade-offs in life. And I hate it got to be this way because, you know what I'm saying, my boy Drew Holiday, he really a baller. And you know what I'm saying? Good dude. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a business, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Like, the day before he got traded, he was literally just talking about he wanted to be a buck for life. And then the next day, these motherfuckers trade him. That's crazy. Flip my ankle. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? You just do what you feel like gives you the best chance of winning. And as much as Drew Holiday brought to the team defensively, like I said, listen to our starting five already. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got Chris Middleton at the two, Giannis at the three, um, God dang, Bobby Portis at the four and Brooke Lopez at the five. That's straight ballers on defense all around. Through all five positions, you got straight lockdown perennial defenders. You know what I'm saying? So, ha, bro, you know what I'm saying? Ha, you know what I'm saying, bro? I didn't want to, I didn't want to, God damn, have to let go of Drew Holiday. 
honestly, I would have rather probably lost Chris Middleton. I don't want to lose Chris Middleton either, but you know what I'm saying? I, I, would, I really didn't want to lose Drew Holiday. But like I said, bro, life got trade-offs, you know what I'm saying? That's just how it works, bro. You can't have everything, just like Giannis said. But it's all good because we got a lot. And look at who we got on our team. We got Dollar Dame, you know what I'm saying? And Bucks fans, look, like I said, don't be too, don't be reading into this too much, bro. I understand, yeah, we got a little bit worse on defense. We did lose Brooke Lopez. It's Drew Holiday. I, I love Brooke Lopez. Bro, it's Drew Holiday, bro. It's Drew Holiday, bro. It's not that hard, bro. It's, it's Drew Holiday. Why, 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 bro? Why, why you keep? Ugh, never mind, bro. It's fine, bro. This why, this why, this why I'm leaving the sorry bucks anyway, bro. Cause y'all don't give me no respect around here, bro. But at the same time, bro, don't just gloss over what just happened. Like I said, we just got a potential MVP candidate. We just got a goddamn mud flipper that can go out there and get you 70 points. You know what I'm saying? A mud flipper that can get you 58 points in a playoff game, shooting about 70%. You know what I'm saying? Hitting back to back to back to back threes in double overtime, trying to keep his team afloat. You know what I'm saying? And you pairing him up with the best with the best player in the league and goddamn Giannis onto the Kumpos dunking on flippers and everything, bro. Like, our offense is going to be straight star-studded, bro. You're not stopping our offense. You already know how we got on defense, bro. Defense wasn't our problem. And yeah, like I said, we're going to get we gonna get a little bit worse, of course, bro. We just lost Drew Holiday. Of course, we're going to get a little bit worse. But y'all remember who, who we still got on the squad. That's about all I got to say, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's ready to be a crazy season, you know what I'm saying? Bucks fans, we really up, you know what I'm saying? I know we was going through it last year. We was going through it the year before that. Realistically, we should have, we should have won both of them years, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ah, flip, bro. Like, I, I don't know, bro. Regardless of even if we got this trade to happen right here, I was still betting on us this year. I felt like we was going to come back and win this chip this year. But now, especially, you know what I'm saying? Because cause Giannis really, really got help on that offensive end. And not to say that he didn't have help, but... He didn't really have help. Like, he didn't have help, help. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, bro, we got Chris Middleton, you know what I'm saying? Drew Holiday, he be balling from time to time. But, you know, Drew Holiday, bro, he a lot to give you them four for 22 games, bro. And not even the hate, bro, I'm just keeping it real, bro. You know what I'm saying? With Drew Holiday, he'll probably shoot about 20%. For three games and then he'll go crazy for one game as far as on the offensive end don't don't get it twisted now that defensive end he, he consistent on that defensive end locking up every single game but you know what i'm saying it was really nobody that Giannis could kick it out to for the three that he could trust to just hit them mud flippers like that but now you know what i'm saying you got dollar dame now you got a mud flipper that can just you know what i'm saying do his thing sauce up and hit a three at any single time you know what i'm saying not even on no spot up shizzle you could just give it to him let him create for real for real and we still got money making Middleton. Oh, yeah, bro. We really like that. But, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? That was the end of this video, y'all. Man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Man, I hope y'all have a great day. Great night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smile. Hope y'all happy. If not, I hope y'all get to that point. You're smiling happy for real. Hey, look. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.